Welcome all to a game called Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This is from a developer called 3 Division Entertainment. It's in uh, come out in early access on the 15th of March 2019. It's around about 20 British pound, $25 when not in the sale. It's a city builder, but you kind of manage resources and people more so than taxes and whatnot. It's... Um, as I say, it's an early access. I've had a lot of crashes on it in on the 64-bit version, but the 32-bit version seems to work okay. You get lots of uh, options, how you want uh, uh, certain managements and uh, elements of the game, and stuff like that. And uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to go for um, uh, energy management, building and vehicles, so that uh, I can kind of go over this as a tutorial as well. I'm not going to have it difficult. I'm just going to have it kind of easy-ish but um like building fires we don't want none because we don't have to bother with the uh the fiber grade at the start we will get one eventually but at the moment i don't want to do that i don't want day and night cycle i just want it to be day all the time because night everything just goes completely dark and you can't see anything uh we'll keep it on easy we'll keep uh citizens on easy as well so they, they don't get too upset we'll keep pollution on uh, I'm going to do education for uh, complex because I kind of want to go on this. It doesn't have much in the way of a tutorial yet, and it's kind of uh, the learn curve is a little bit steep trying to work things out. But once you've worked out how one set of, like, say, uh, wood cutting or uh, digging for coal works, you can apply that to everything else. So let's go in. The map is absolutely massive. Unlike many other um, city builder games where you kind of cram everything all in together, this one you can just like spread it out as far as you want. I mean, it's absolutely massive. There is... Uh, this is like a, a fixed map, so everything's kind of in the same spot each time. I like to go straight up here, and you have these little points which are trading stations and you sell your resources to them and you get money back and stuff like that. You can be self-sufficient. So when you've built uh, all the uh, resource gathering facilities yourself, you no longer need to buy in stuff to have them built. What I like to do when I first start out is make a coal mine and then a coal processing plant, and then a coal power plant, and then sell our um, electricity back to whoever so we can start making a bit of gold. So to start that, we need to go up here. I would prefer this bar be down the bottom, but uh, we'll work with what we've got. We've also got another bar here, which you can hot fix certain buildings too so if you wanted to build like residential you could just apply it to one of these buttons up here so just pick it and then click on up there and then it would be whatever you put so as i mentioned we're going to go straight for coal mining this is this is very annoying when this pops up and there's no easy way to get rid of it, it just goes in time so we'll go for that's coal I'll show you now. So, gravel, coal, and iron. So, we want a coal mine to start with. Now, when you pick it and hover it over anywhere, the green will show where it's best to put it, then yellow, and then red says there's nothing there. To make... You can turn it around with a mouse wheel, and if you want to actually scroll, like, uh, zoom in here, when you've picked it, because you can't just do that with a scroll wheel, because it's uh, moving this around. If you hold shift and then scroll in, you can pick it better. Now, you've got two things on this mine. You've got a road, which is you can easily see, and then it's got this little arrow pointing at the back. This is for a... I'll show you in a second anyway. Right, we want to put it in, and if you just hold shift... It will automatically, not shift, 
if you hold your left mouse button it will level the ground out for you automatically until it becomes flat now this as well as the roads are very annoying I hope they change that because it, it, it can be really frustrating I mean this has taken forever I mean, it's like, can I, can I just put it down? There we go. So it goes green now and put it down. So we'll put that one down. And at the moment, you see all of our money going down because all of our work is coming from elsewhere, either from the, uh, the dollars or rubles. Ours is coming from rubles, so it's coming from the block. Once we build a coal mine, we want a coal processing plant. Now again, you want to scroll it round. And again, we have these little symbols at the side here so we've got lots of little arrows going in so that implies that a resource comes into the plant and then at the bottom they've got ones going out so whatever like uh, we process and coal so we'll get like uh, coal ore whatever it's called going in and then we'll get pure coal coming out now you can't change where these go where they come into the plant so you've kind of got to line it up pretty well with uh, the one coming out of this coal mine and this is where it gets kind of frustrating again just uh, hold your left mouse button until it goes flat this is where it gets kind of frustrating because you cannot tell if this is going to line up right until you've actually put it down now I've got um, my uh, conveyor belt already on three but to find that you would go into infrastructure conveyors conveyor belt and then you just click and hold and there we go there's something in the way <laughs> so we then need to lower this ground now if you want to lower this quicker again you can use your uh, scroll uh, mouse wheel button and it will make the part you want to shrink or level or uh, increase in size go up and down and, but as we're just wanting to come across here we'll get to this little as possible and just try and uh, get rid of something that's in the way but yeah that's very annoying as I've got this on my button number three I can just press three and we still can't get it <laughs> oh so let's try that again yes it's uh, this would be nice if when you're placing other buildings it would show you if it can actually reach without having to do all this crap afterwards but it's just uh, just a little annoyance there we go so we'll we'll put it on baby that one and then if we have something else over here then we've got that now that we've built those two we're going to build up our coal plant so again go into construction energy coal plant this is all we've put in at the moment so that's all we can build and it is the 70s so it's pretty much around that time again if it's red you can't put it down if it's yellow it means it needs to be leveled out a little bit but i kind of want to put it over here so we would need to get our terrain leveling tool and this is going to level it out from the center Again, hold your left mouse button and try and flatten it down. You don't need to do it all the way as long as you get most of it done. And then you can get the plant again. And now that it's yellow, we can kind of just press and hold this. And keep moving it along a little bit. This kind of wastes a bit of money, but it's simpler than just trying pot luck all the time. And we get lucky with that one. Right, now that we've got those underway, we need some people. And also, because we've got it set up for um, like a complex power supply, we this probably won't be able to reach this one, so this is not going to have any power. So we'd need to use the substation. But I'll wait till this is finished before we do that, and we can get some um, flats and stuff made. So construction residential and we'll just grab see this little line the yellow line that shows you where how far it goes so we can get it about there 
So we're going we're gonna to put this one, I think we'll put it in the middle and then we can kind of make our uh, estate down here, our housing estate and stuff. It's You've got quite a lot of uh, buildings to choose from, like uh, equipment for citizens. So you, you want to give them like food and clothing and electronics and they like to do a bit of sport as well and a pub and a cinema. Put these in later on. As I've only got it on like easy for them getting upset, they just kind of get upset and don't really do anything. The harder difficulties would mean that they um, probably start writing or whatever. I'm not sure. I've not tried it yet. It's taken us a while just to get to grips with everything. We also want to build roads and footpaths. So you can build them on the gravel or you can just go for a normal road or ones with lights. We'll go with lights. We'll take it down. Again, this is can be very frustrating trying to get the road right. I've done corners before and it's just like no. And then if you do half a corner from this side and half a corner from this side, they meet up where they would normally should have met up, but they don't. Luckily, this one fits perfectly. You cannot uh, generally run ro uh, roads under these. I think you can make them go over, and if you dig them out a little bit better beforehand, you could probably do it, but uh, I haven't. And we don't really care. We'll put that one there, and then we'll just make a road going around the side of here. See, this is just, just nuts, the way it goes. It's like, I just want to come over here and go up there, and it's like, nope. You're not doing that. So you kind of have to do a corner, do your line, and then try and get around this corner. So uh, when you do this and you see yellow, you can't do anything with the red. But if it goes yellow and you hold your uh, right mouse button, it kind of flattens everything out for you as well. So that's nice. But the actual putting the roads down the cells are horrendous. We'll try and flatten it out a bit and move it over. I'm not sure it'll work. Oh, no, it doesn't want it. So we're going to have to have a horrendous looking road. Unless we can... No. So that's about as good as I'm going to get that. And... Maybe. <laughs> We can maybe try and sort that out later on. I, d I just don't know what it does. It's just annoying as as an annoying thing. That'll do. So your town's going to end up a bit of a mess, but uh, it should be fine. Now, the power station has its own problems. Like for, um, well, yes. We want infrastructure again. Switch that off. And then power lines. Not that one little power lines you get substation so if you need to power this thing up here that we can't reach you should put a little substation in i want, kind of want to put it somewhere that we will eventually put like a quarry and something else so we'll put it about there and join our road up our horrendous road and then we need to run power lines to this. So lines, so kind of either one of these, doesn't matter. I like to go for this one. Now at the front of the power station is our power lines that we need to come from. If you use the bigger ones, there's two either side. We will be taking one of these all the way over here eventually to where uh, power up that our neighbor's grid. In fact, we might do that now. So we can kind of get to there. Then I kind of like to do it halfway and then try and get this to join up. So it's, yellow, uh, it's green there, so that means it's joining up. These are a little bit finicky at times. Sometimes they'll just stop working. Well, the times they are quite, uh, they'll work quite nicely, but uh, it's a, it can be a little bit weird at times. So it's best to come out the, the place as best you can, and then try and join them up in the middle somewhere. Because of all the mountains and just the weird way this works. So I'll go there. And again, it, it'll it be a bit of a mess 
<laughs> it's just it just just doesn't want to do stuff half the time. It's weird, but okay. It looks like it might build there, so we demolish that one, and then uh, pick this again, and there we go. We can get that one in. It's just just a, just a little bit weird now and again. We also need to put footpaths in up here. We haven't built the road yet, have we? Oh, this one's going to be fun. So we'll try and get this one to come down this side and join up like here somewhere. There we go. And nice. Right. We can also put a footpath in. So if you want to do those, it's just again if you go to infrastructure, little footpath, a gravel footpath or a mud footpath, whichever one you want. And they have little walkways there. They do walk on the roads, so you don't need to uh, put them everywhere. And not every building has little footpath uh, things. We do want the one to come here as well. So let's do this. Okay, we'll do that. Let's do that. And uh, footpaths generally go under these, so they can be of use. We'll put that one around the front. And we might have one going all the way down there as well, just for a shortcut. Right, where do we get to? So this one has no power. That's because we need to buy coal. Because we can't mine coal unless we have coal to power the station. So the best way to do this is click on your coal power plant. And then you can purchase resources for dollars or rubles. As we've got a load of rubles, we'll purchase it with rubles. And as we just want a little bit to get us started, we've got a manual purchase. If you do auto purchase and then click on this on how much you want, whenever it goes below that threshold, it'll just automatically repurchase the uh, required up to the required amount. But we just want something to get us going. So let's purchase that. And then that's all we'll purchase. It'll not recur constantly. It'll just purchase it, done. And now, hopefully, we've got workers in there. We have workers in there. And we have workers in there. So we're going, so hopefully... Well, not hopefully. So this is coal all we get from there. Should all break down. <laughs> Building is without power. Oh, why are you without power? No, we've got power. Yeah, it's all fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Sometimes it just goes a little bit weird. Right, now that we've got this all connected up, what the hell is this saying? Right, let's just make sure our coal coming in is more than we produce. So, to find out how much you want to sell back to these, bring up your power plant. If you keep a look on, keep checking this here. And then open this one up as well. We want to export. So you can import if you want to. If, say if your power plant blows up or something. And you need to get some power to get going again. You could just purchase some. Or I prefer to purchase some coal. So let's start with 10. And as long as this little coal bit keeps going up. Which it's not. Because our workers probably suck. Then you can leave it like this and as you can see we are getting a very little amount of coal so we probably want to need more workers seeing there's only one so for that we need to build more residential let's build one with a hundred and whatever workers so we'll have the road out the front. And then we'll connect that up. 
Maybe. <laughs> there we go. It would be nice if it just says uh, terrain needs flattening. This will cost this much and you can just do it. So again, I've got uh, gravel path selected to my two buttons so I can just send them up there. Do we have a warp path there? No. Just wondering if we can uh, make this even short for me. Yes, we can. Right, equipment for citizens before they get a little bit upset with us. So as I've got it set on um, needing education, we kind of want a kindergarten and school as well, just so they can go to work. So this is in education. You've got uh, medical and technical universities, which we'll go into later on, but at the moment we just want a kindergarten and a school. So the if you want it looking pretty, I think that's probably not going to be an issue, uh, like a a thing in this game. Everything kind of looks a bit wonky and stuff, but uh, it's still good fun. You might change all that eventually. It is an early access, and we'll put that one there. We can connect these up as well. So skills are in. We also want. Equipment for citizens. So when you look at the bottom of these, it'll show you what is available from them. So we've got food and meat from this one, clothes and electronics from this one, or food, meat, clothes and electronics from this one. So I think we'll just put a big one in, just because we've got plenty of money and stuff and it doesn't really matter. You will notice that there's a little arrow in the middle of this building this means it c it can connect to other buildings so if you had a warehouse we could uh, send everything to the warehouse and then import it into the building itself i am going to go into that eventually but uh, maybe it's not this episode maybe it will be who knows so i kind of going to put this one there so it gives us Plenty of room for maybe it's a warehouse or something there. And we can connect our road up. And we connected there. We've got power. What else do we need? They'll probably want a pub. And a sports hall. So when they drop the kids off at school. We could nip to the pub. No, I don't think we will. I think we'll put the pub here. Right opposite the school. And make a bee line for it. Drop the kids off of school there. Go over here, straight in the pub. And uh, what else was it? Yes, we need this stuff. One of those. A tennis court and a football pitch. Again, yeah, it looks like really crap, and it is, but uh, it's just to get going. Once we've uh, got going and stuff, we can make everything look pretty afterwards. Now we connect these up in some kind of fashion. So I just like paths everywhere. But see, that's what I mean. It's like connect there, but it wouldn't. And if you do it half one way, half the other, then it, it connects. It's just a little bit weird, and then that one connects perfectly fine. Um, we could do this as well. One at the back of the scale, straight up. Right. How's our coal production going? Right. We are getting loads of coal now. Because we've actually got 11 workers up there. We could probably do some more workers. Some more people. But as this is going, you could just use escape to get rid of those. As this is going up really nicely... We're going to check back to our power line and up our selling of it. As long as this import is still going up from our coal mine and uh, coal uh, processing plant, then we can continue selling more to make more money. I 
think I'll leave it there. I still want to make plenty of coal. Because we're going to need lots of it anyway. And we have an extra shoot that I've kind of blocked there. So <laughs> we need to demolish all of that to uh, make somewhere else to put it. But that'll do for now. Um, what else do we need? We want a quarry for some gravel. I'm going to pause it. So if you use the space bar, you can pause it. Or you can just use these buttons up here. This is pause and then super fast and normal. Uh, what was I wanting to make? So we've got gravel. And yeah, we've got a gravel processing plant. However, these can't be linked through conveyor belts like this. The actual pro uh, gravel processing plant has chutes after it. So these can go to other places. If I can find somewhere to put this. Come on, man. It's uh, in a fashion. Maybe. Maybe not. Because <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use the uh, set a journey with the trucks and stuff. And I can even show you how to export some of your produce. So when I first started, I just I couldn't find out how to do it. All it is pretty regular. This is uh, not going to work. Sometime we might get this done. Oh, was that uh, maybe, maybe not? Yeah, this is fairly annoying. Having to hold this down for so long. It should be just like a, uh, well, I was going to say maybe a box come up saying, do you want to make this flat? And I'd be like, yeah, just spend all the, all the money on it. Now, fun part, trying to get this over here. It's not going to work, so we're going to go down this way. Right, can we? Right, this will be fine. We'll get this flat. I wrote to nowhere, and then we can join that up. And could we just... No. That's fine. Now that we've got this put in, we'll, we'll send it away. We want to quarry gravel quarry so that's that one now this one you can kind of put anywhere really as long as it's near this stone and depending on um what the quality of the stone is it depends on how many you get out of it it's kind of a little bit weird right now that we've got that built we do need to use something called a mechanism so you can't mine stone itself. We need to buy an excavator for it. So here they'll have the amount they can pick up and the power they use and the extraction speed. So we'll just go for the top one. And then this will automatically do what it needs to do. So we're going to join this road up, maybe. <laughs> I think maybe we go from this side instead. Uh, yeah. This is the most frustrating part of the game. And it's not even really meant to be. Okay, we're just going to... I don't really want to go that way though. Because I just wanted to go straight there. So let's, um, let's try and flatten it. Maybe get some kind of thing going okay we can get a bit off it right please no maybe so we'll do this and then fail there and this is just going nowhere ah oh, sits right out a second um let's go at level again we'll level it here let's shrink this a bit so mouse wheel again uh, Shrinks and uh, enlarges it. So maybe it's this one now. So a little bit there, and nope. What about. Oh, dude, man, come on. A bit more flatten. A 
Try again. Oh, we've got something there. <laughs> oh, if only. Let's try and raise that up a bit, and maybe we can. This is just dreadful, man. Honestly, it's it's so frustrating to build these roads. Let's just try our best. Could try the uh, even it out. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's really going to work, but you never know. I've got nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Oh, balls. Come on, man. Let's try this again. <laughs> Just walk away anywhere now. Oh man. Oh, we got some out there. I don't know why, but Well, it does say to do the roads first before you do anything else, but this is just ridiculous. What can we do? Let's get rid of this road here. And there we go, the power lines have gone. <laughs> Let's put that back in. It's just, it's like, I just wanted to get rid of the road, not the bloody other things. Oh, 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 oh. Let's try this, maybe. Holy shit balls, we failed again. <laughs> Come on man, you can do it. Oh, yes, right. Whew. And let's uh, destroy that bit and like weird road now, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Now we need to get a truck. But to get a truck, we also, because we're using the um, uh, complicated one, we need a petrol station as well, because they do need to fill up. And to make federal, uh, pet, federal, to make petrol and oil, you need to, uh, what's it called, an oil rig. But this is going to be something later, I just want to show you it. So oil rig, you would use Oil rig, and again, just like the the coal, you would have to look round and find it. It would be nice. There's some there. There's usually one right about here as well. That's the place I usually use. And then you would get a oil refinery, and then put them in that, and then you can do what I'm going to show you in a second with the trucks and stuff to uh, fill up and pour it here. You can do the same with trains, but I'm uh, haven't got the gra. Uh, grips with the uh, trains just yet so no vehicle ready to load we cannot store support so that's fine we knew that anyway we do need um, some people up here though before we go into that uh, oops. So we're just we're just gonna have a few we kind of hopefully get it uh, linked up to that as well Please, maybe. Well, this goes up quite far, so let's uh, let's put them there, and then we can try and link this road up. <laughs> of course, it doesn't. Do you know what? You, you can you can you can just walk to work. I don't I don't care. Uh, right. So for this, uh, first of all, get the gas station. So you go into infrastructure roads. Then down at the gas station. We are going to put this one kind of in the middle. Just so we can move around. If we can find a spot for it anyway. There we go. I mean you can set these out a lot better. But 
I was just starting. It doesn't really matter. I kind of just put them anyway. We also want a road vehicle depot. This allows you to buy road vehicles. That's what it says on the tin. And now we just need to find a spot we can uh, build it. How about... It doesn't need to be powered. Let's try and find somewhere. Maybe it's here. So we can get it there, but then we're out of range of flipping uh, electric. Oh man, come on. Please. Right, that'll do. Just so we can get uh, get going. Oh, for Pete's sake. Fine. There we go. We'll do it that way then. Right, now that that's built, click on it. Go to buy new vehicle or mechanism. We want a dumper for our uh, gravel. If you hover over each of the vehicles, it will show you what capacity they can hold, the speed they can go, and what it weighs itself. So we, I think I usually go for uh, this one. It can hold 12 tons. I think there's better ones. 9 tons, 6 tons. I think there was one for f that could hold 14 tons. I think I don't think you get that one a little bit later. So yeah, we'll get that dumper. Now, once you've bought it, it'll be in your little car park. So let's click on it. And you get a couple of, uh, you can copy the schedule, schedule. You can cancel it, you can launch, you can uh, change depot or workplace. You can, you can actually view it. So this would follow it around. But we want to make this one go from the quarry to the processing plant. And I've just realised I put that road right in front of this, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. And once you've selected those, we have two things here. So we want a quarry, and we just want it to get quarried stone. And we want to fill it to max. And then we want it to go to here, and we want it to drop off all. Oops all of our quarried stone now once we've selected those we can tell it to launch and then we can go back and follow it round let's speed it up a little bit so we're still getting um, plenty of uh, money well not plenty but a little bit of money from uh, our uh, power plant exporting the uh, power There he goes, we're filling it up. Now he's going to go and dump this off right about there. And then this gets the quarry stone and sure, oh no, we've got no workers. <laughs> so let's. Uh, Let's make these a little short uh, run over here. There we go. Oh, we do have. Uh, no, no, we can't do that. Of course, we can't. There we go. So these are starting to work now. We're producing it here. So these need to go to some kind of uh, other place or uh, uh, a storage facility. But we'll leave that just for now. I'm going to show you how to export. But to export, we need to export one of these things along the um, the outskirts. So two sides are to the Russian block, and the other two sides are to the Allied block. Um, I'm going to get rid of this road first, and then we can build our other road right up to there. How do we want to do this? I think we'll go...
Old save. Let's let's go this way. Maybe. Kind of want to keep it a little bit out the way. I mean, I'm wasting plenty of uh, money here. You could do this a lot slower. I'm just trying to show what how to do it as quickly as possible. There we go. Right, so we want another tanker. Another one of those things. So uh, I mean a dumper. And we're going to show you how to export. Now this will be the same for pretty much... Uh, everywhere but using different vehicles to export different goods because different vehicles export different things so you get like a, a covered haul uh, 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 truck to export food and stuff like that so once we've made the food factory if we've got plenty of food we could then export food in the same way we're going to do this so again click on it go to new stop we're going to go to the quarry we're going to export some stone, because that's all we've got at the moment. And then we're going to finish up here. And this is pretty much all it is. It's like trying to work this out first was a bit like, what do we do? But, no, actually, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I want to export gravel, not stone. So let's uh, get rid of those a second. Try that again. So if you ever mess one of these up or you want to cancel it, you could just say uh, 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 cancel and go back to demo or something like that. So we want to go here and then here because we're going to export gravel. So we want to load until full and we just want gravel. So uncheck all of those. And click on this. We're going to unload everything and just our gravel. If you needed to do two stops, you could change this bit here. So drop 50% off at one stop and 100% off at the other. And that's kick launch. Now when you do this, if you I've got it going too fast. If you click on it, when it gets over here to load up, it'll tell you the price of um, the goods it's going to transport. Here we go. It's worth uh, rubles and dollars. We got the right one, right? Yeah. So there it is going up. Uh, another thing with the storage zones when I get into that is that you can only. What the hell? I don't know what that means. Alright, I actually know what it means. We need an extra um, uh, fuel stop because it's so far away. That will not do it. So this kind of goes in nicely with uh, a, a little bit extra with the electricity. So I'm going to pause it. We're going to take out one of these. And if we go into infrastructure one of these uh, the, the big things and high voltage switch so this one will only be good for like the, the big pylons so we're going to put this one in the middle and this would split this line so we would continue over here and that lines that back up and we've got an extra line we can go up here to add an extension to our newfound place. We're going to use a power transformer. Now if you have a look at this, it takes one big one in and then it has six little ones out. Now all of these can go to substations and then we're getting into like a real massive power um, production. So we're only going to use one for now. So we'll put that there. We'll grab another one of those that should that should be powered up now we got it play it so we can uh, move on we want to go to the little lesser one and we want substation we'll put this right about 
uh, how far are we away? We'll put this somewhere in between. It's got a petrol station there. So if we put it around about here, we should be able to power this up relatively easy. Famous last words. Nope, doesn't want it. Let's try you over there then, and then come back. There we go. Nice. We'll put a road to it. And have a road to flipping Brokenville. Right. We can maybe get this one over. Oh, there we go. Nice. Waste loads of money there. Get another petrol station. And hopefully. Again, these, once you can make your own petrol, uh, fuel, you could then stop auto purchasing, but uh, auto was fine for now. Now, hopefully, this one's not going to move. <laughs> Damn it. Um, why is that like that then? So, we're viewing something here. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, I see the problem. I'm a noob. That's what the problem is. Let's get rid of that. And we'll connect it to the actual row. Oh, man. I just want a nice little turn. Oh, that's dreadful, but fine. Now, hopefully... There we go. Thank you, game. Told us what I was doing wrong, because I suck. Now we've got 150, well, 118 rubles worth of that. So, again, you probably want to check out each stop on what's uh, available. So that's both Russian borders. Some people, you look at what uh, value you can get from most of it. Again, if you want to um, move the camera around, if you click and hold the middle mouse button, you can do it like that. And just drag and go to where we want to go. So these will have different prices for different things, but uh, that's for a later game. It would be nice if we had some kind of map that would show us where we did start. Because... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can easily get lost. But if you've if you've got like a, a road and stuff, you can generally easily find it. Not like me, I can't even remember where the hell I was. Oops, I don't know what I did there. There's nothing there. There we go, we found it. If you want to move really quickly, use your right mouse button, click and hold, and then just drag, and it moves right really fast rather than. Slowly moving to the end of the screen. And I think that's all I'm going to do for this one. Is our truck... Um, is our truck back? There he is. He shipped our money off. Good little truck. And if you want to view what you've exported, you can show it here. So imported, exported. And we're still exporting. Before we go, I'm going to quickly check. So this is still going up. Pretty nicely. We could make the uh, we could sell more electricity, but I, I think we'll just leave it like that. So thanks for watching. Give this a like if you like it and want to see more of me building a dreadful city and going into uh, uh, crop production and everything else. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.